The second thing that I do now, because if I want, even with a solo violin, I don't want to be stuck with this note that I triggered here, with the velocity that I triggered. <laughs> right? It's just not what I would do if I had the instrument in hand and could play violin. Uh, so I just add velocity crossfade and have my, my little toy in here. I click, I activate velocity crossfade and now I can add dynamics and expression to my performance if I want to. <laughs> and you can play around with these things and just have additional controllers that allow you not just to play instruments, but rather take the place of the musician. If you don't like the, the result, maybe even practice again and play it again. This is, this is really important to understand because it's such an essential controller. If I'm using this velocity crossfade and I stay, I'm just not touching anything, I'm just staying with this one articulation and I'm just using the breath controller, I'm going from piano to forte. So it's like whispering and shouting, and I just crossfade between those different levels of uh, musical expression. And you can do that. That's a global switch for all the Vienna Instruments Pro. So if I load in a trumpet right now, I'll, have, uh, I'll do the same thing with the trumpet. Let me just show you what else is in there. So this is one matrix. And uh, this is the modulation wheel that I'm using to switch between legato, portamento, staccato. If that's not enough for me, I can extend that. And that's just one matrix, but <laughs> don't be afraid. It's like, oh god, so many. Are. I know. Um, but if you want to go in and just see what, uh, what the bigger collections have, and it's always the same system. That's also something that always happens when I'm opening uh, the browser. It's like, oh, so many samples. I can't believe it. And th it's a good thing. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's not supposed to be confusing because it's, it's really very logical. It's short and long. Can you read that? Ki oh, OK. It's kind of. You have short and long notes, dynamics, tremolos, trills, pizzicatos, colenios. It's all in a, a all captured in one thing. If I go down to, let's say, the scale runs, I can go into the legato major scale runs. Just going to copy that over real quick and take it into all three cells. And now I have those runs loaded. And you see that as soon as I added this fourth, fourth row in here, if I add another one, I just have multiple divisions here for my modulation wheel. Four is the maximum my little brain can handle. So I'm going to set that up here. So if I have the modulation wheel all the way up here right now, I can play those pre-recorded runs. And I can, with a, with a key switch, I can decide if it's upwards <laughs> and downwards. Let me just switch off velocity crossfade real quick. So I can go like, I don't have to practice scales anymore, finally. <laughs> so you have something that, that is pre-recorded but it uh, makes sense when you need it just to load it in. And then you can go back to your legato and just play on. <laughs> and just go to these phrases if you need now it. The idea is um, I'm trying to encourage you to say, go through every. Once you understood the structure of one instrument, you'll understand everything. If you know the solo violin, you go to the trumpet, and it's like, oh, OK, short notes, long notes, dynamics, no tremolo. OK, it's a trumpet. Uh, and so on. So it's always the same system that you're going through. And what you're actually playing is the software, the Vienna instruments. It doesn't matter to the software what kind of instrument you're loading in. Um, and then it, 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 uh, you can just extend that any way you like. Another feature that I always show is, so we've, we're finding ways to move through this matrix, right? So I want to go with the x-axis. You probably realize that when I'm playing, I'm actually moving from the left to the right. And that depends on my playing speed. So I have this little red button here. Depending on my playing speed, <laughs> it's actually switching from, and that's, a, that's very clever, from slow legato to a fast legato to a performance trill, as we call it, that allows you to play trills because we have recorded the fast transitions between the different notes. So it's a round robin of intervals that you're playing. 